Hi folks, um, welcome to EDU Psych 401 Educational Psychology. I wanted to just have say a few brief words about the instructions this week and to put my face with my name so that you would um, know who I am. Um, I am of course Cindy Dean, your instructor for this course and I'm very glad to be so be here and, and glad to have you um, participating in this journey with me. Um, so if you have not already, please um, look at the orientation video for this course that's found in the announcements tab, uh, it's the landing tab when you, um, when you open up your Blackboard site for 401. It gives you a tour of Blackboard and also goes over the syllabus with you. Um, I'd like you to read that syllabus please. If you have any questions about the course content um, or anything in the syllabus or the Blackboard site, please let me know and I'd be happy to answer any questions for you. I have had a few um, emails um, asking about some of the, the work and I'm happy to answer those questions. One concern that, I, that I've addressed a couple of times is the rigor of this course. I do want to remind you this is a 400 level course, um, which is the upper um, level of undergraduate and the lower level of graduate. So uh, the course does expect a, a great deal from you in terms of reading, critical thinking, research, investigation, and conversation. Um, once you've completed the uh, orientation video and you've read the syllabus, you're going to open the course content folder for week one um, and you will see the first item on that page are your instructions. I'd like you to introduce yourself please in the discussion forum. Um, I've already uh, put my introduction in there giving you a bit of personal information about me and professional information. I think it's important that we get to know one another in this class. There are 35 of us. Um, so it will be important for us to uh, work at having a vibrant and dialogic um, conversation throughout the 15 weeks that we're together. If you can provide a picture, that's great. Um, it does help us to, to, to be real people and not just voices out in the wilderness. If you've completed the profile in uh, Blackboard, um, the picture you associate with that will show up every time you put a, a post in the discussion forum. That's very helpful for us to, to be able to understand who is who and we begin to associate pictures with words. Um, if you, if some people prefer not to do that and I understand. It's not, it's not a mandatory, but if you can, we really do appreciate it. Um, and then I'm going to ask you to view the Chapter 1 PowerPoint and Lecture. Um, I've narrated the PowerPoint for this week um, to give you an overview of Chapter 1. And then please read Chapter 1. Um, and then please engage in the discussion forum. Please know the discussion forum requires you to do a bit of research, so allow enough time to do that. I don't expect a full-blown research, um, literature search, um, but I am asking you to find an, an article and to uh, share that and do some work with it. So again, just allow enough time. And please uh, review my expectations for discussion forums. I do expect the discussion forums to be substantial, academic, um, and continuing. I, I want it to be again a, a, a dynamic conversation in which we share our knowledge and our understanding, our questions and our comments, um, that we help one another to discover and learn um, um, the, the aspects of educational psychology and not only learn um, the aspects but how to apply them um, in schools, um, uh, uh, in our homes, um, in our own lives. Um, so that's really the goal, that really the goals of this course. And as I mentioned in um, one of my videos, I think it was the orientation video, this is a cross-listed class, so um, most of the students here are in an educational track of some sort, but some are not. Some are taking it as a psycho psychology course, which is perfectly appropriate. Um, just know that we do focus on the classroom, we do focus on how educational psychology is applied uh, to the learner and to the classroom. Um, so I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, um, anything at all that's worrisome to you, um, please let me know. I stand ready to help you um, in any way that I can. So have a great week and I look forward to working with you.